Hey guys, you guys have a problem like this on Mastering Chemistry, and I know that your professors have covered it with you, and that it's also in your book, but I know that within Dr. Yang's class that we have focused on the corners here, of which there is one-eighth inside, and we've focused on face-centered and body-centered. We've never had these ones that are in the middle of the corner of the cube. So, the way that I suggest that you proceed with this is you count up the silver balls, which are, in this case, uh, uranium. You go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And you would multiply those by the one eighth. Okay? Um, the face centered ones, you know, if there was like a big ball right here, half of it's in this cube, and half of it would be in a neighboring cube if it was like straight down the middle like that. Ah, sorry all I've got is Legos to demonstrate this with but it's like that. Okay, so we know that that would be half but this isn't half because we're here on this corner um, well along the side corner. So if we're along the side corner and we're perfectly in the middle, those are actually, you get my Legos oriented right. Sorry, the kids here are too little for the alphabet blocks. That would actually work better. But those are actually cut in a quarter. So only a quarter of each of these little red dots is inside of the cube. So what you'll do is you'll count up the little red dots, um, only count each dot once, and then you're going to multiply it by one-fourth. And you can do that with any other kind of cubic, the amounts of the um, atom that are actually in there are going to um, go ahead and give that to you. Um, and you can look up the chart that give, tells you how much of each little dot is in there. Um, this is a little different than what we did in class because it's two different chemicals. So if we take the gray balls and multiply it by one eighth, that'll tell us how many uranium crystals are inside. And if we take the little red balls and we multiply those by a quarter, um, that'll tell us how many um, oxygens um, are inside. And so that'll give you the um, chemical formula. Um, so that should help you. And if you have a question about it, and if you're wondering if you're wrong in the way that you entered it, please email me back. Or leave a comment on the Facebook page, not on YouTube. I don't check YouTube that often.